Now this is not all of them, but Susie, Whitey Tidy. Did I spell that right? I think I did. White Lightning, Casper, Freedom, Sand Pounder. <laughs> hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. How y'all doing today? Well, it's almost, almost that time. My uh, rooftop tent should be delivered any minute. Hopefully while we're filming. Uh, getting a little sidekick here, ready to do some overlanding and some camping. I'm at my buddy's shop garage here at his house where I'm staying at. Fully equipped. Look at the size of this sucker. Pretty big. It's got the ceiling sprayed in with spray foam insulation. It gets pretty cold here. But uh, my buddy, he picked up the lumber for me today at Home Depot. And we now have three pieces of plywood that are two by four, three quarter inch. The babies are doing their part to, there are, he's got a lot of lumber and stuff stored out here and there are ground squirrels here and these babies, all they do is hunt, hunt, hunt. But now that we're in the garage, they are convinced that there are squirrels in here, ground squirrels. What do you think? What do you think, Tuck? Man, don't say, it don't smell like no ground squirrels, smell like a chipmunk. I didn't know they smell different. You don't you don't know everything. You don't know. Okay, well it's a chipmunk then. Should I? <laughs> I shouldn't have done it. Go ahead, baby. Maybe I'll goose you. I, I don't want to be goosed. But uh on top of automotive tools, got some woodworking tools, saws. We got everything we need to build a platform inside the white Suzuki Sidekick. I was out here tooling around with him in the shop one day, and uh, I noticed this little tote right here. And I was like, hey, can I take that out to the Suzuki and see how it fits? He's like, yeah, run it out there and see how many you can get to, to stack in the back of that thing. I said, That's a good idea. So he also, uh, when he picked up the lumber, I didn't know he was going. I thought we were going to go together. But he picked me up three totes when he got the lumber. Let me show you what I plan on doing here. All right. Got them all unnested. You got the lids on them. These are made, these are HDX Tough Tote 12 gallon. Let me show you how good this fits. Well, I'm going <laughs> to, yeah, let me show you how good this fits. Um, <laughs> me measure, measure twice and cut once. So, uh, <laughs> they make them this size and make a bigger size, but people say, well, well how are you going to do this? You're going to put drawers in it and a, t a bed and whatever. I'm like, no, this is going to be a low budget build. So I'm going to use bins and just plywood. Well, I guess this will just have to sit here in Tucker's seat. One for clothes, one for food, and one for camping supplies. It'll work out. I'm going to do something even if it's wrong. Yeah. So these will be covered. I'm going to let these seats down and show you how I'm going to build it. But uh, this is going to be the height of the platform. Let these down and show you something. Now 
we had measured seven feet in here that would fit. Let me lay the seat back. Now, uh, these back, this backrest comes off and we'll lay all the way back. Y'all traveling with your sanitizer and your uh, disinfectant spray, aren't you? Spray all your mail, all your boxes and stuff. We don't want nobody here getting sick. All right, hold on. All right, headrest comes out. And the seat will lay back. I can't keep this thing clean. Dog's getting in and out. Now, look at that. All right. Just hang tight. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Now, of course, this is just a very <laughs> rough mock-up of what it's going to be. But this piece of wood right here is going to have its own legs and support. It won't be attached to these two other pieces. When I'm in driving mode, this piece will set up onto here. Now this piece right here, it's gonna be attached to this piece via hinge. So it's gonna fall back on this piece here. And then it'll store on top of this piece. That way, I can keep the seat up and all of my bed will be hidden back here. At least that's the game plan. There will be legs under here that go to the floor that will flip and fall back on top. There'll be two befores and they'll stack back here. So that's more or less six feet. And I'm probably gonna build some kind of smaller box to fit from here to here. That'll give me seven feet total of platform. That couldn't be any rougher of a description if I tried. Hey, I just got the wood in. <laughs> but uh, we do have some written drawn up plans with everything measured. But uh, that's probably easier to see and understand than our, than our scribbles. So in a perfect world, all of this bed will fit and store back here and ride all the time with both seats up. So if I have company or the dogs want to ride back there, we've got the room. I'll have a, a foam mattress that I'll probably roll up be bound up here maybe my clothes not my clothes but the bed clothes sheets and blankets and pillows and stuff can ride up here on top maybe that's where this <laughs> this other uh tote will go we'll see i'm just making this up as i go man i smell you you old chipmunk i, I think it's a ground squirrel you don't know nothing may may that's a chipmunk Well, catch him, catch him and show us, Martini. I'll catch that old chipmunk. You get out of the way, Tucker. You just growling. That won't, that won't do nothing. I think he's over here. I heard it too, baby May Mays. Y'all spook him and get him out. Y'all work as a team. So one thing that's been worrying me it was how am I going to mount this rooftop tent to the top of this little sidekick? Because the rails that are on it just don't seem that strong to me. I'm getting the Smitty built Overlander, I think it's 2783. And I talked to the manufacturer and they said these rails will hold it and it will work. The tent weighs 100 pounds. But I'm considering. I'm considering taking these screws out, drilling through, and uh, affixing a metal plate in here, and putting bolts through. 
then I know I got it. But we're going to mount the tent on top first just to see if, if it's sturdy enough. But if not, we got a backup plan. But first things first, I'd love to start on this platform tomorrow, <laughs> install the tent tomorrow. But I got another kind of tent I've got to worry about. I'm not much in the purple tent. And this wasn't a great job. Uh, <laughs> but you know, I'm not going to complain because I'm not having to drive it purple just, uh, just for a little bit, for a few days. But tomorrow I'm going to go and I'm going to put some ceramic tent on here so i've got an appointment for that and i got to take care of that tomorrow so these windows limo then i'll put legal on the sides and i'll put legal strip across the top they have a new clear tent uh, i believe this ceramic as well and uh That'll help keep it a lot cooler on the inside than if I just leave the glass open like this. But, you know, I'm not going to complain about this purple tent. You know why? Because as ugly as it is and as purple as it is, you know, I like purple. Don't get me wrong. Purple's faster. <clears throat> but it saved the interior of this car. I call it a car. I guess I should call it what it is, an SUV. Four by four, no less. These 235, 75, 15s are, sure are doing a good job. But like every other tracker I've put them on, they do scrub a little bit under duress. If I, if I turn it too tight and I hit a bump, I scrub. But it's it's not a it's not a deal breaker. Y'all give up? He run in here, Daddy. Well, why'd you come back out here? He wasn't alone. <laughs> Dogs understand how to love, and they understand how to be happy, don't they? I'm just saying. On my last video. A lot of you guys noticed my little, I'm, I'm going to probably slaughter the name here, Bowel, Bowel Thing, Bayo Thing, uh, radio. It's a ham radio, emergency. It does like walkie-talkie, all kind of stuff. Um, my buddy here is a ham operator. There's one of his towers right there. On top of this pine tree and my buddy JD in Boise Idaho he's a ham operator as well so uh, well they just been riding me and riding me they said Kevin you need to get one of these little radios it's 20 bucks on eBay so I don't intend to be a ham operator I'm not saying I won't YouTube takes up all of my time uh, but I promised them I'd learn how to use it, and it's just it's just for just for safety. When I'm out riding and I'm out and about, if I don't have cell service, maybe I can get get this to work. If nothing else, I can keep up with uh, what's going on in the area around me for like emergency services and whatnot. So I understand it's a good thing to have. In my last video, the one with the rant. Oh, uh, well maybe it's the one before that. Maybe it was both. <laughs> I asked people for help naming the new uh, sidekick over here. And uh show you. Here's some of the, here's some of the ideas. Now, this is not all of them, but Susie, whitey tidy. Did I spell that right? I think I did. White Lightning, Casper, Freedom, Sand Pounder, <laughs> Liberty, 
Wolf Wagon, Littlefoot. Got a whole lot more, but these are the ones that are kind of sticking out in my mind. I'm not saying I'm going to use these. Uh, I'm not saying which one I'm going to use at all. But if you have an, if you have an idea, help me name the sidekick here. Man, when is UPS going to get here with the tent? I don't know, Tuck. It's getting late. But we got a nice table here to work work on. So we'll build it. There's there's it doesn't come fully assembled, 90% or better, but uh we need a table to work on. Well, it's about seven o'clock in the evening. The sun's setting. Heck, it's already set. It's gonna be dark in a minute. So just a just an update video. Can't do nothing if I don't have the supplies. So, didn't have the tent, didn't have the wood till just now. All right, so I'm gonna end this little video where, right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we will see you again soon. Listen, everybody, I had to decide, you know, was I gonna talk about this, uh, thing that's going on this uh, virus is changing the world if you've been around me if you watch my videos for a long time you know that I'm a prepper I was a prepper and uh, for now I'm gonna try to keep everything kind of upbeat and positive y'all be careful follow precautions stay away from people if you can and uh, wouldn't hurt to say a, a little prayer I don't think at this point but things have a way of working out and what's going on it will too okay talk to you soon goodbye There are ground squirrels here, and these babies, all they do is hunt, hunt, hunt. But now that we're in the garage, they are convinced that there are squirrels in here, ground squirrels. What do you think? What do you think, Tuck? Man, don't say it don't smell like no ground squirrels, smell like a chipmunk. I didn't know they smell different. You don't you don't know everything. You don't know. Okay, well, it's a chipmunk then. Should I? <laughs> I shouldn't have done it. <laughs>